Hey, so here in New Zealand, we have the parasitic mite Varroa destructor. Now, all hives in New Zealand have Varroa, um, and if you don't treat your hives, they will die. So most beekeepers in New Zealand put in Varroa strips in spring and autumn to keep the Varroa levels down. Now, they do this regardless of what their levels may be, because this is a good way to keep the Varroa down. But if you want to get a bit more of an in-depth look into your hive to see what the Varroa is like, you can monitor the Varroa using an alcohol shake or an icing sugar shake. And that will tell you how many Varroa per bee are in your hive. So it gives you a rate, rate of Varroa per bee. So today I'm going to show you how to do the icing sugar shake. So we'll get to that now. So before we open the hive up, we're just going to prepare a few things. So I'm going to be putting bees into a jar. Now this jar has a mesh lid. And through that mesh, I'm going to put some icing sugar. And once the bees and the icing sugar are in here, I'm going to shake them out, the icing sugar, I'm going to shake the icing sugar onto this tray. So hopefully we can see if there's any Varroa. So to monitor Varroa within a beehive, we need to get around about 300 bees from off a brood frame. So as you can see here, there's some good brood on this frame. So we just, first of all, we're going to make sure that the queen is not on this frame. And then we're going to shake the bees into a tray and then tip the bees into our jar. Now I'm not going to do the exact measuring today, but if you want to be really exact, you can honestly use a, just a half a cup, like a measuring cup from the kitchen, and scoop up half a cup of bees and put them in the jar, and that's 300 bees. So I've thoroughly checked this frame for the queen, and she's definitely not in there, so I'm going to shake them into the tray and then tip them into our jar. There we go, tray of bees. So now that we've got our 300 bees in the jar, we're going to put in a scoop of icing sugar, handy dandy hive tool here. Perfect measuring. And we're going to push that icing sugar through the mesh. You can see it falling down on the bees in there. And of course, icing sugar doesn't hurt the bees. They actually quite like it. Obviously, it's sugar and they can eat it. So we're just going to put all of that icing sugar in there. So now I'm just going to roll the bees through the icing sugar. Now, again, the icing sugar doesn't hurt them, but it stops the varroa from holding on. Like, it irritates them and they can't hold on very well. So now that all the bees are coated in icing sugar, I'm going to shake the jar and the icing sugar and possibly varroa will fall out. Now the key to shaking is you really have to shake quite hard because the varroa in there are going to try really hard to try and hold on. So you really need to vigorously shake the jar to shake all of the varroa off. Shake for a good minute to get all of the varroa out. I can still see them falling out so I still know it's working. So you can see the little brown varroa mites wiggling in the white sugar. So it's best if your tray is a nice light colour so you can see them. So a good idea is now to count the varroa that you've shaken out of your jar. And then you can do the calculation of how many varroa it was per 300 bees. If the number's really high, you know that you need to put some sort of varroa treatment in right now. But if it's quite low, if there's only a couple of varroa, then you're probably okay to leave it for a couple of weeks and then you can monitor it again and see what the levels are. Always just be aware that when varroa levels get really, really high, even if you put treatment in, it's sometimes too late. So it's best to treat when the varroa, it is a low to medium level to keep the varroa down. So even though we have to shake the bees quite vigorously, as you can see, the majority of them are still alive. Now don't get me wrong, sadly some of them may die, but the thing is if you don't monitor and you let your varroa levels go too high, your whole hive will die. So this is kind of the mantra of kill a few to save the many, basically. <laughs> so it's a good way to check, and like you can see it's very non-invasive. They're also like, they're all getting licked icing sugar. They also get a feed of icing sugar, which is a bonus. So it's just a really easy way to check varroa in your hive, so then you can make monitoring decisions for later.
So in conclusion, here in New Zealand, we have Varroa, and if you don't treat your hives, will die. So a good way to monitor the Varroa in your hive is by doing an icing sugar shake, which is quite non-invasive, and it'll give you a good indication of how many Varroa are in your hive, so then you can decide on what treatments you need.